Gong with the Arc Pikes Peak Region, and we have the privilege of chatting with Andy Kikowski. He is a local mm -hmm. filmmaker. Um, mm -hmm. His film, Lonely Highway, mm -hmm. will be the opening film for the Colorado premiere of Learning to Drive. Mm -hmm. So we are really excited to mm -hmm. chat with him today and learn mm -hmm. more about this film. Yeah. You created this film through the Youth Documentary Academy. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how long have you been involved? with YBA? Well, that, that's a good question. So um, the, we interviewed in March of last year for 16, and then, and then it took about, I think, a month of gathering together. And last year was the, like, the greatest number of kids that applied. 45 applied, 12 got accepted, including me. So that's oh, a pretty, wow. that, that, that is a pretty big chunk of kids applying. And what did you have to do to apply? So, so of course, as usual, you had, you had to apply through the website. And, oh. the, and, then, and then also the tough part is to go in for actual real-life interview. Oh, wow. Yeah. And um, when, I, when I got notified, I, I was so excited. I told, I told my film teacher back, back in high school, I said I, said I, got, I got accepted to the, to the Youth Documentary Academy. And he smiled and gave me a fist bump and said, that's what I like to hear. So what inspired you to make World Me Highway? Well... Um, it it was a pretty tough decision. Um, for actually, for one for one of the inner questions, now that now that you bring it up, you actually had to know an idea that you wanted to do. You actually had to oh, say okay. say in the interview like what you wanted to do. So when they asked me that question, I said, "What? How about a personal story?" Because grow, growing up with an autistic disorder, and and I I realized this in in the youth talk America, the more. The more I hear about autism and autistic, the more I find it. Wow, this is actually a pretty big deal than what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I thought about what if I do one about me with an autistic disorder? Because you don't like you look at me like this guy doesn't have autism, but I yeah. or or being autistic, I should say I, I'm autistic. And um, I thought about like ex exploring the stone. Here, let me rephrase this. Um, sure. I, um, I did it because I wanted to tell these stories of these kids who are, at, these kids are not that bad. They just have behaviors that you do not understand. And, and if mm -hmm. you just get to know them and understand, then you can say, oh, I can help this guy out instead of placing him in the weird category and saying, right. oh, yeah, you're weird. I don't, I don't want to be around you. So that's how I felt yeah. through my school years. Tell us a little bit about, you kind of already mentioned this, but yeah. a little bit about what people can see in Lonely Highway. So, of course, like, like just what I said, it's about me going with autistic disorder all the way from my elementary school into high school and even into my first semester of college. Um, and, and I did explain the experiences of me like sitting alone every day, start, starting with the eighth mm -hmm. grade all the way to the end of my senior year in high school. That's when I sat mainly alone, and yeah, I did feel bad about yeah, I'm about, sure. about that. I'm, I'm just like they 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 don't understand my behavior, and plus I had reaction to simple things like, for example, the fire alarm goes off. Mm -hmm. I I was really high anxious about sounds, like especially musical instruments, mm -hmm. like with let, let's say the trombone, the trumpet. Um, like any type of horn, even a semi horn, mm -hmm. I was afraid of because because I, I was nervous. Like, I I could think the future because I thought like, oh my gosh, as I get closer and closer to this, he's gonna see me and he's gonna pull the horn and, and I don't want to hear the horn. So okay, I okay, so you'd get anxious uh, about that. Yes, I, I would get anxious about that. What do you pe hope people learn from watching Lonely Highway? I would like them to learn that uh, not only to appreciate me with this autistic disorder, but with other kids uh -huh. having it as well, because they need to like understand and learn these kids' behaviors and realize, oh, these guys are just—they're not just like acting weird, and they're and they're not like and they're not like wow, that guy is like totally off the off the normal category. I don't want to be around. They just need to say. Not everybody's the same. They are different. And these guys happen to have behaviors that normal people don't have. And if they, yeah. and if they learn this through my film, which, which I do explain a little bit of my experiences with it, they're like, oh, well, if I see this, I'm like, oh, hey, this is what Eddie said in his documentary. So now I know what this guy does. You know what to expect. Yes. Yeah, so someone's like, you know, you know what to expect when you meet an autism or, or, or an autistic person. 
What is one of your favorite things about yourself that you would like to share with everybody out there? That is a great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a ton of interesting things. Um, I think um, I, um, of course, I'm special, <laughs> I should say. Um, let's see, um, if I had to tell the world something that's super special about me, I would say, um, geez, I, th I thought about this last night before part of the meeting. Um, uh, geez. Um, let's see, I am, I am, okay, I'm, I'm I'm special. I've done. I've done like great things. Like mm -hmm. I, I've created. I've created a comic strip. And oh, that's yes, neat. Yes, I have. Very cool. <laughs> what's I've, the name of your comic strip? Tritos. And what's what is it about? It's about these uh, guys who um they're food characters. So one so one guy's ah. a pickle, and then and this guy's a chocolate chip, chip cook, cookie, and there's even a guy who's a vanilla cupcake, but he's not your average boy. He's got like pink frosting as his hair color. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's so you're very creative. Yes. So 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 that's the term I was trying to say. I'm very creative. That's the thing that's special about me is I'm very creative. Is there anything else you would like people to know about your film or anything else um, you'd like to share? Um I I would say um love these autistic kids cuz you'll love them. Like they'll mm. they're they're not that bad and um you can really change their lives if you really get to know them. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite part about being, what's your favorite thing so far about becoming a filmmaker? Well, my dream is to go to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I got, so uh, I've actually had a couple of people who signed, who, who signed my yearbook. Um, at the end of my high school year, and and I even signed it from my art teacher, who mm. who I've had a friendship with since, since my freshman year, because he taught he taught some he 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 just he taught me some some two D art classes, and he also taught me some graphic design classes mm -hmm. as well. So I grew a friendship with him, and he asked me, Andy, what's your job? I said, I want to, I want to work for Spielberg, and so <laughs> and so he he literally wrote he literally wrote in there, tell tell me what. Working for Spielberg is like, and see me on like on like the big screen and say, "Oh wow, what's Danny's next project?" and all that sort of stuff, and s s see me in the credits, and, yeah. like, and then people say, "Wow, I work with that guy," or, or I say, "Wow, I saw that guy," or like, <laughs> or I like say, "Wow, I saw that guy's film. What's his next project?" Mm -hmm. So I, I I thought I think it'd be cool to be the next Spielberg or the let's see what the the next Lucas. Um, the next to make as he directed Back to the Future. Said, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't doubt that that will happen. Yeah. <laughs> You've got yeah. a lot of natural enthusiasm. I do, which is pretty rare. Person. And talent. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, thanks, Sandy. You're very welcome. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah you're welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see Lonely Highway mm -hmm. Tuesday, February 28th at the Colorado premiere of Learning to Drive. Mm -hmm. We will be at Stargazers Theater and Event Center. Tickets mm -hmm. are $35. Mm -hmm. And you can find more information on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>